So why can gravity make one distant supernova appear in four different places in the sky and even show up on different dates when light is supposed to travel in straight lines? Astronomers have watched that replay happen. A supernova is an exploding star, yet in some telescope images, the same explosion shows up as several separate points of light. In basic physics, light travels in straight lines through empty space, and a photon, the smallest packet of light, has no rest mass, meaning it isn't something you can weigh. In Isaac Newton's force-based gravity, massless things should not be pulled, but during solar eclipses, starlight passing near the sun is measurably deflected, so gravity is influencing light anyway. And the question is what influencing means if nothing is grabbing the photon. Gravity, and Einstein's theory of gravity called general relativity, is not mainly a sideways tug. It is a change in the geometry of space-time. Space-time is just the combined bookkeeping of where and when, because clocks and rulers do not behave the same in every situation. A massive object changes the measured distances and the ticking rates of clocks around it. That pattern of changed measurements is what we call curved space-time. Free-falling objects then follow the straightest possible routes allowed by that geometry, called geodesics. Light follows geodesics, too, so a beam can look curved on a flat diagram even while it is locally taking the straightest path.